good story for this child, whose mother said she had brain damage, leukemia, asthma, muscular dystrophy, and was not able to walk. But it was all a lie. That is sick. But they did say the mother was sick. So how she end up getting 10 years, man? What up, YouTube? It's your girl, TT Chanel. You clicked the title, you read the page. That means it is time I put y'all up on game. Gypsy. Gypsy is out of jail. Right? It's exciting, right? Who is Gypsy? Exactly. I have no idea. I'm going to be real with you. And that's why I'm about to put y'all up on game because what I did was I took the time out to find some ABC news clips and some CNN clips that's going to put us on to who is this young lady that's all over the internet. Like, all I'm seeing is Gypsy, 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 free from jail. Gypsy, free from jail. Who is Gypsy? Because somebody put us on. Yes, we're about to get put on right now. Subscribe for the vibe. Hope you're feeling good. Hope you're feeling great. Shout out to CNN. Tonight, Gypsy Rose Blanchard is a free woman released. Gypsy Rose Blanchard. Got it. Noted. From prison on parole today, her story gained national attention after being sentenced to 10 years for aiding in the murder of her abusive mother. Dee Dee Blanchard was believed to have had a rare psychological disorder that played a role in her daughter's abuse. Gypsy Rose Blanchard has an upcoming book on her story. More now from our Gary Tuckman. Gypsy Rose Blanchard, a little girl whose mother, Dee Dee, was known as a loving, caring single parent of a profoundly disabled child. It's Mayberry. We're moving to Mayberry. <laughs> I remember my mom had gave me this little glass house, and she said, this one day... Oh, y'all see her selfie? She blossomed up. She blossomed up. Yeah, because, you know, I know what you're thinking. T.T., wow, that's crazy. You know, we always thinking it. This will be real. And now it finally is. Gypsy and her mother had just moved into a Habitat for Humanity home in Missouri after their house was devastated in 2005 by Hurricane Katrina. It appeared to be a feel-good story for this child, whose mother said she had brain damage, leukemia, asthma, muscular dystrophy, and was not able to walk. But it was all a lie. Did seen that movie on Netflix when a girl thought that she was sick but whole time she wasn't sick but the mother was saying that she was sick whole time she wasn't sick what in the Netflix series is going on in here listen to this good story for this child whose mother said she had brain damage leukemia asthma muscular dystrophy and was not able to walk but it was all a lie that is sick but they did say the mother was sick so how she ended up getting 10 years man it's Yo, subscribe for the vibe. I'm about to shut up. I'm about to shut up. I'm about to, I'm about to like this anyway, so I'm going to shut up. But that's crazy. Dee Dee Blanchard had fabricated it all. Gypsy was victimized by her mother's apparent Munchausen syndrome by proxy, in which a guardian causes or exaggerates illnesses. Gypsy never went past second grade. That sounds like something they just made up. Talk about what, in which a guardian dramatic and drags out illnesses. That sounds like something they just made up. They be making up stuff. Every day. It just proves that happy endings are not just in fairy tales. They're real and true in real life also. They failed this girl. Because clearly the mother had a problem. So what if she bodied the moms? The mother had a problem. What you talk about? I'm going to shut up, though. I know what you think. Did you say you was going to shut up already? All right, damn. The elaborate scheme that Didi concocted did indeed get her sympathy. Like at this charity function. Wisconsin versus Gypsy Blanchard. But then, in 2015, Gypsy and a long-distance boyfriend... What the hell happened here? ...were charged with murdering Dee Dee. Gypsy told Nicholas Godejan about the lifetime of abuse she endured. They came up with a plan to kill her mother, and Godejan was accused of stabbing her to death in the Missouri home. Police reportedly found out about the killing from this violent post on a Facebook page that Gypsy shared with her mother. Do you swear or affirm that the testimony you're about to give will be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Yes, sir. Would you state your name for the record, please? Gypsy Blanchard. And how old are you? I'm going to be 25 years old at 24. Gypsy's boyfriend was found guilty and is serving a life sentence. I would have never did it if it was not for me. Prosecutors felt... Whoa, well, now, what happened? Now, I mean... So does he get out or that's it? He just got life. Because, I mean, 
I mean, I mean. Ipsy needed to be held accountable, but because of the abuse she experienced, they agreed to a plea bargain. She's to be sentenced to 10 years in the Missouri Department of Corrections. While in prison, Gypsy talked with TV personality Dr. Phil about how her mother lied to doctors and how her mother handled her medical appointments. She told me that I couldn't speak during a doctor's appointment. She would tell me, you know, sit in the wheelchair, play with your Barbie dolls, and let me talk and don't interrupt. My mother told the doctors that I was mentally incompetent. Gypsy also said her mother tried to convince her how helpless she was. She would always use the medical term for everything that was wrong, that I had microcephaly. And yo, it's a quick story. Let me tell you something. This is so true because if a person has a kid and they sick, they could tell their kid outside is dangerous. They could lock their kid up. They could homeschool their kids. It's just so messed up. Some people really don't deserve kids, man. Some people really don't deserve kids. Definitely, which is small head that my brain didn't develop right and I'll never mature past a six-year-old's level. After she was sentenced to 10 years in prison, Gypsy was told this. She'll have to do 85% of her sentence before she's eligible for uh, parole. And today, that 85% is now over. Gypsy Rose got married while behind bars to a Louisiana school team. Come on now, Gypsy. Come on now, Gypsy. You could have did better than that. You could have did better than that. Not to mention, how you going to get married after your lover done bodied your mom for you and then you going to go move on? My men, stay woke. Stay woke. Y'all see this? Teacher, a relationship that reportedly began as pen pals. She is now free to be with him, to live as normal a life as possible, while she and we remember the things she was once forced to say, like this about her new house. It's beautiful, and it's happy. Girl, they gave that girl a new house and everything. And it's full of love. Gary Tuckman, CNN, New York. All right, joining us now is criminology professor and former... Yo, that is crazy. Hold on now. ABC did like a little thing on her, but they... CNN pretty much broke it down for the most part. I'm not going to lie, but let's see what she got to say, but... What else they talking about? Let's see what you got to say. Former FBI Special Agent Brianna Fox. Brianna, what do you make of the fact that Gypsy was released early after pleading guilty to second-degree murder in her mother's death? Well, thanks for having me, John. Uh, that shows that she obviously was uh, very willing to take responsibility for this, and uh, that's what parole boards essentially look for when they're making these type of determinations. She also wanted to her abuse and trauma she experienced that made sure the uh essentially people knew why she did what she did yeah he which is why i don't understand why the boyfriend is still in jail like to me that's messed up y'all subscribe for the vibe